here, life's too short not to share your weirdness to everyone, right? Hey everyone, it's Deligrithy here and welcome to a brand new video and also welcome to my lounge room floor. <laughs> I actually love sitting on the floor, chilling out, being creative. Whenever I do anything creative, like when I designed my merch and drew it all up, I was working on the floor. When I do like Christmas wrapping, I work on the floor and it's just because there's so much room for activities. It's just like, yes, <gasps> oh no. I just spilt the tea. <laughs> anyway, welcome to a non-gaming video. On weekends at the moment, I'm trying to do some more lifestyle videos with you guys, just because I really enjoy sitting down, chatting for a change, just hanging out. It's good to mix it up sometimes. So that's why I'm doing these types of videos. But if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below because it's really encouraging when you guys do that. So I know that I can do more videos like this in the future. So grab a cup of tea, sit down, enjoy and let's go through some Christmas presents. Just before we get started and I show you guys all the loot, um, I did want to quickly say that I was brought up in a family where presents and consumption aren't really the point of Christmas. So in my family, we didn't have a whole lot of money, so we'd do more smaller gifts. It's definitely never been our focus of Christmas or what we've been taught Christmas is about. I don't want you guys to think, oh, we need to spend all of that money because you really don't. Um, and I've actually asked for no gifts this year. I just like, I just don't want people spending their money on me when they need to get things for themselves. But I like buying gifts for everyone else. So, <laughs> all right. So first up, I do have Deligracy merch coming to my place still to give away as gifts, but it's not here yet. A little annoying. That's another side thing that I'm going to be giving to my family and friends because everyone needs a bit of deli merch. Also, if you still want to get deli merch you can i'll link it in the description down below i might start with pat's gift so pat actually picked his gift by the way if any of my family or friends are watching this stop watching right now go away you guys know you're not meant to be watching so just get out of town this is for me and my youtube family thanks so for Pat, he wanted this cycling backpack. He does a lot of cycling. He's very fit and very proud that he takes such good care of himself. So I was more than happy to get him a really good cycling bag. He does cycle to work as well. So he needs something sturdy. Funnily enough, I have this feeling that my ex-boyfriend actually designed this because last time I heard He's an industrial designer, bag designer, and he got a job here. I think he could have easily designed this and it kind of looks like his type of thing too. Anyway, that's quite funny, but it's a lovely bag in any case. And um, I do like the interior, how it's yellow. I think that's a lot of fun. So yeah, he should, um, he should like that. I think I do spoil Patrick a little bit. I love getting him gifts and I especially love getting him clothes because then I get to see him in the clothes. So I did get him also a t-shirt this t-shirt which i love i love this like neutral brown color the thicker collar i love long shirts on guys so i got him a longer fit yeah i think it'll look really nice on him i also got my stepbrother well he's essentially my stepbrother this black t-shirt it's not even like a true black though it's almost like a gray blue color in real life so it's just a plain shirt we don't do like really big gifts um, with him and his dad. So I thought, you know, that's something useful that he'll like. That's not like a crazy big gift. And for my stepdad, again, we don't do great big gifts for them, but I thought it would be really nice to get him a beach towel. It is right now summer in Australia. So if you're wondering why I'm buying beach towels and t-shirts, it's because it's really, really hot here. That is hopefully going to be a winner. My stepdad's brother, who actually lives near San Francisco, he is Australian, but he lives and works in America and he's had kids in America. He hasn't really come back to Australia all that often since he moved, because he obviously has a family in America and it's very expensive to come back here. So I thought from our family, we would get him something that's a nice little reminder of Australia that's easy to pack into his suitcase when he goes home. We just got him this really, really lovely tea towel. My mom actually suggested I get this because she was in Broome, which is like far west of Australia. She saw this local artist and she said this would be so nice. These are galahs and they are a beautiful pink bird that live here in Australia. They're absolutely stunning. And I just thought the artwork was really beautiful too. So thanks mum for your great gift idea. And it's a really stunning quality like linen tea towel. Like it's so nice. This is like quality. But yeah, when people travel across the world, you can't really give them anything too heavy or big because it's just a nightmare to try and get it back into your 
into your pack to bring it home. So I don't know, some people might be like, oh, a tea towel, that's like the lamest gift ever, but I thought it was nice, mum thought it was nice. I would like it if someone gave it to me. Speaking of travel, some of you know that I was in London for Sims Camp recently. So while I was in London, I made sure to get a few little gifts to give to my family for Christmas time and I've held on to them. So one of my favorite stores is Kath Kidston, uh, which how do you describe this store? It's like a, it's a bit of an everything store. There's a lot of cute prints and little bags and bits and bobs. I don't even know what kind of store it is, but it's just very cute and very London in my opinion. So I found these um, egg cups that are soldier egg cups and I just thought they were so adorable. I had to get them for my mom and she eats a lot of boiled eggs. So egg cups are just cute and a nice little something to bring back. Because Santa doesn't come to our house anymore because we're all grown up, I like to make a little Santa sack goodie bag for my family members from Deli Santa. So I also got a couple of things from London to put into the Deli Santa sacks um, for my family to wake up to in the morning. So I did go to the Harry Potter store and get some chocolate frogs and Bertie Bott's Every Flavor Beans because, you know, who doesn't love Harry Potter? Harry Potter's the best. Okay, some of you guys won't like Harry Potter, which is definitely, definitely the minority. And I am personally offended by that. <laughs> so yeah, I got a few of these. So they're just like little extra things. So my dad is a Tintin fan and Tintin's an old cartoon and there's actually a Tintin store in London as well. So I decided to go there and get my dad a few things. So I got him this Tintin shirt, which I thought he would like. It's not too crazy and out there or childish, so hopefully he'll wear it. And it's in a lovely maroon color. My dad's kind of got the same hair and skin color as me. Maybe he's a bit darker. Um, I thought that would look really nice on him. My dad and I have a tradition where I always get him a diary for the new year. So this is a special Tintin diary, which is pretty cool. I just didn't know if it was like daily or weekly pages. I have no idea. So hopefully they're daily because I know that's what he prefers. I think that's what he prefers. And then these, I just really liked. These are just little document envelopes with tinting characters on them and they're so bright and vibrant. I don't really know if he's gonna use these, but I'll use them if he doesn't. I think they're yeah, really nice. So that's what I got dad. He'll also get chocolate. Dad definitely deserves chocolate. He loves chocolate. For my very close girlfriends, um, Tian and Jasmine, who you guys might have seen in videos, I decided to get them something basic but special. I got them both hourglass ambient light palettes. Now these are very expensive. This is very expensive makeup and I know those girls love their makeup so hopefully they'll like these and if they don't they can swap them for something else and get multiple items for the same price. But this is it, very bougie. Tian actually might already have this, I'm not sure. But yeah, these are just some highlight powders and I don't wanna to get too much of my fingerprints on it. Very nice. I would like to keep these for myself, but <laughs> damn it, I can't. Because they live together, I also got them a couple of shared gifts. Um, when I was in London, I went to Fortnum and Mason and James actually saw this gin and tonic tea. And I also got this whipped buttercream eco soy coconut wax candle. I don't really like chemical candles. I like my candles to be as natural as possible because I don't want chemicals in my house. I'm a little bit of a hippie like that. I actually found this brand called Soy Ivy and this woman was selling these locally and it just smelled amazing. So it's pretty much as natural as it possibly can be. Oh my gosh, I really wanna keep this for myself. It is unbelievable how good this smells. So this is the whipped buttercream flavor. It kind of smells like freshly made caramel popcorn. And I got the one with sparkles in it. These sparkles are biodegradable, like they break up, I think she said within a couple of months if they're thrown out outside. So they're not the kind of glitter that is ruining the environment. So I thought this was just a really lovely gift. Beautiful smell for around Christmas, New Year's time, very rich. And yeah, if you guys are looking for some really nice quality natural candles from someone who isn't really a big brand or anything, like very locally made, Soy and Ivy Australia, very nice. So this year I decided to get some beautiful, whoa, my voice is echoing in here. Hello, hello, hello. 
So I decided um, to buy some beautiful vases this year for some adult gifts. Um, so this is for my auntie Jenny. Jenny is a second mom to me. She's incredible and her husband Tony. And she does the most incredible floral arrangements. Like you go to her house, she's so creative and artsy and she always has beautiful flowers in the garden and always presents them so beautifully. So I decided to get this vase, which is a little bit different. Definitely has a bit of a 70s vibe to it because it's that brownie color, but I just thought it was really beautiful and would go with her house nicely. So that's for her. I got this little vase for my dad's partner and I just thought this was a really nice vase that you can kind of pull out of this wooden base and it's just a lovely simple thing to have in the home. So this is for her. And then finally for Pat's parents, I decided to go with a very safe option. So this is a clear um, vase and it's got like the little milk jug top to it, which I thought was kind of nice and different. Well, it's not that different, but it adds a bit of style to it. So yeah, all three of those were from a place called Country Road and I've put their names on little pieces of paper inside so I remember which one's for which. Cause your girl's very forgetful. We're getting to the end of the pile here, you guys. For one of my other girlfriends, she just had a baby. I put her beautiful baby on my Instagram, Liana. So Liana's now come into the world and I love her very much. <laughs> I've only actually gotten to see her once since she was born. So I'm really looking forward to seeing her again. Yeah, I got her a changing mat because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of nappy changing for a while. So this is a beautiful mat from Country Road. I got it on sale because my friend Sarah would kill me if I bought baby things from Country Road because she says it's too expensive. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was really, really nice. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got little rainbows on it. And for those of you mums watching, you'll probably have a much better idea of what to buy new mums. But I figured I couldn't go wrong with this. I mean, if she dislikes it, I've got the receipt there for her. So she can take it back and be like, no, I don't want that. I haven't got Olivia's gift yet. I actually, I have one part of her gift, which is this beauty blender. I don't get beauty blenders anymore because they're so expensive. I have like the orange one. I've forgotten what they're called. They're like the same price. No, no, no. They're, they're a lot cheaper, but the same product. They're bare essentials maybe. Anyway, I get those now because they're the same, but my sister loves the OG beauty blender, so I got her one of those. For my cousin, um, she's a lawyer and she's been really, really lovely and helpful with YouTube contracts. Um, for me, like sponsorships, she's often run her eye over them for free, which, you know, contracts can be pretty big, so it's definitely taken her a lot of time to go through them. So I wanted to get her a lovely blanket. So this is also from Country Road, which is like my go-to store. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like there's tasteful, good quality things that you know are like nice quality, and if someone doesn't like the gift, they can change it for many other things. So this is probably very washed out on the camera. Um, I have a feeling she's going to return this because I think she'd want something more furry and cuddly. I don't know, I think I got this gift wrong. I feel like she won't like it. Oh well, she can take it back. I'll give her the receipt. Don't you hate that moment when you realize someone's not gonna like the gift you got them and it's just like, mm, damn it, why did I buy that? <sighs> What's the worst gift you guys have bought someone? I also have a few books coming in the mail uh, from Book Depository for a few people and Pat's sister who I got for KK, as well as um, this go-to face here, a powerful and protective face oil. She put this on her KK list and of something she wanted. So I didn't really know about this brand. Let me know if you guys do, because I'm sure she's seen it somewhere and realized it's meant to be quite good. So for another friend, I got go-to lip kit. So you get like these two lip things and like a keychain and a fortune cookie. And then I also got her a Hague's Christmas bell to go with it. Actually, in my opinion, Hague's chocolate is the best in Australia. I love Hague's chocolate for like the more bigger chocolate brands, not the independent places. Pat got me onto it and I love Hague's. I think it's just in Australia though. Maybe I'm wrong. What is your favorite chocolate? Like every country has different chocolate brands. Like what is your favorite? But I got a whole heap of like little Hague's chocolate Santas to put in sacks. I got these milk peppermint chocolate Santa things just to add to gifts. I just kind of like, I went crazy with Hague's so everyone's happy. I also have these like cute red and green balls. So I got those too. 
And I'll just like sprinkle them in the gifts or something. <laughs> I also got um, galas from the same artist, The Card, and uh, a kookaburra for my dad um, because I love Australian birds and wildlife. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the gifts I have planned that have arrived. Uh, James, Tom, and Kathy's gifts aren't here yet, who I'm going to send to in Sydney. James being the Sim Supply, Critic Zeus, and Caitlin Games. Oh my gosh, and I almost forgot my handmade Christmas ornaments that I'm going to give to my family. As you guys know, I've been making body part ornaments for a video, like the seriously, the most randomest video you guys are ever gonna see on the channel. I know, life's too short not to share your weirdness to everyone, right? So I got these really weird um, clay ornaments that I made of, well, all of these ones are boobs. I have other body parts. I just don't know where they are. So yeah, if you guys want to see these close up, I will have a video soon. Oh, and I'm giving this to someone. It's me at platform nine and three quarters. I think I'll give it to dad, but I feel like mum will want it as well. So I don't know. They can fight for it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I got Kinder Surprise chocolates because um, I love Kinder Surprise chocolates. Are these Swedish? I think they're Swedish. So shout out to my Swedish peeps. But these are so good. I want to eat them now. And they're so cute. They're like little Santa decorations. I also have told my family and friends not to buy me any gifts. I know probably a lot of them won't listen, but I genuinely don't really want gifts. I don't need gifts. I'm able to buy things myself. And honestly, like give me a packet of cooked nuts or something that you've given some love and time in the kitchen to. Like that's fine for me. And I'm not trying to sit here and be a hero. I'm like, I genuinely don't need anything. Like spend your money on things you need. So I decided to treat myself. <laughs> Maybe I'll wrap these up and give them to my family <laughs> to gift me. But yeah, I got some bathers um, because I needed some new bathers. I just got some tops. I've got some bottoms that I need to pick up. I always get black bottoms because in real life, I'm not like a teeny tiny figure on the beach. Like I'm not super skinny. Um, so I like black bottoms that cover my tushy <laughs> or I'll wear a one piece often. And for the bather tops, I have a little bit more fun. So this is like a maroon colored bather top, which I thought was really nice. It's got like a tortoiseshell detail middle and then a gold clasp at the back, which I think is really lovely. And this is by a brand called Nookie Beach. And then I also got an olive green color. I think these colors suit me well. So this is this one and it's got like a tie front. Again, Nookie Beach, again, a gold clasp on the back with like a tie detailing at the front. And I'm really excited about this. I haven't tried it on yet. I love leopard print. Like I know a lot of people hate leopard print and they think it looks really tacky. I love leopard print. I think leopard print can look so beautiful. So I definitely love it. So I got a leopard print skirt and um, yeah, maybe I'll try it on for you guys. <laughs> I feel like I can do Zumba in it. What do you guys think? Do you think it's nice? So yeah, like a maroony kind of top. Hmm. Is um autofocus off? So yeah, this is the green top. Yeah, I think I like this one better. Like, let me know. But I think this one is nicer. Do 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 do. So yeah, let me know what you think of it. You guys can tell I'm so uncomfortable on camera in my bathers. I'm just like trying to cover myself up. Anyway, there's a first for everything. I'm still learning. Anyway guys, hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world. And I cannot wait to speak to you soon. Love you and Merry Christmas. Bye.